shortly after taking office in January 2009, he signed an executive order calling for Guantanamo's closure within a year. In order to affect the appropriate disposition of individuals currently detained by the Department of Defense at Guantanamo uh, and promptly to close the detention facility at Guantanamo consistent with the national security and foreign policy interests of the United States and the interests of justice, I hereby order. Since making that pledge, Obama has faced bipartisan opposition in Congress, with lawmakers blocking funds, preventing the transfer of Guantanamo prisoners to U.S. soil. The latest Pentagon spending bill, signed signed into law by President Obama, mandates indefinite imprisonment for all for al Qaeda prisoners. In January 2011, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney said President Obama still determined to close Guantanamo. The commitment the president has to closing Guantanamo Bay uh, is as firm today as it was uh, during the campaign. We, we are all aware of the obstacles to getting that done as quickly as the president wanted to get it done, uh, what they were, and, and the fact that they uh, continued to persist. But the president's commitment hasn't changed at all. Um, and uh, it's the right thing to do for our national security interests. Shana Cadadel, what does that mean? That statement by Jay Carney is over a year ago. Right. Uh, you know, I think it's really a bit of a false narrative to claim that the president has been hamstrung by Congress. Uh, if you look back in April 2009, uh, when the first resistance from the Republicans to closing Guantanamo was starting to emerge in the form of, you know, these, these bills to prevent uh, bringing people to the U.S. for trial or resettling asylum seekers who were wrongly detained at Guantanamo in the U.S., uh, the Democrats were silent for a couple of days, waiting for leadership from the top of the party um, from Obama. And when they didn't get that from the White House, then you started to see uh, Democratic senators say, well, we agree with the Republicans. You know, um, uh, when, I, when I see what's happening with the D.C. Circuit and the Supreme Court, it reminds me a little bit, really, of the desegregation cases in, at Little Rock, where the Arkansas government and Orval Faubus were completely resistant um, to the Supreme Court's decision, and the lower federal courts were going along with it. And I think the problem here is that nobody is playing the part of Dwight Eisenhower or the Warren Court. Uh, the Supreme Court is thrown up its hands, and uh, President Obama is failing to lead the Democratic Party um, and, you know, really push us towards a goal with bo which both parties um, had agreed was in our national security interests, closing Guantanamo, ending this sort of stain on the moral reputation of the United States, and, you know, stopping what has been really a, a recruiting symbol um, for the administration's declared enemies in the quote-unquote war on terror. Okay.